joining us here after this one. And I, I think the, the simplest way to boil this one down is free passes. There were so many offered up by this power pitching staff today and UCF just three walks a lot on the mound for them. It really comes down to that, doesn't it? Yeah, we uh, yesterday, that's the reason we won the game. Our pitching staff gave up two freebies and they walked us and or hit us 11 times yesterday. And we flipped that script today. And, uh, you know, just too many free base runners and um, the, the game's not going to reward you. So, but it's everybody's uh, responsibility uh, from our position players. Our approach wasn't what it needed to be early. The win was different. We talked about it. Now, Sinclair, and you look at his numbers, is, uh, you know, his numbers aren't good. And he has almost walked or hit a guy one per inning in the amount of innings. And I don't know how many free base runners he gave up today, but it wasn't many. And he had three pitches for strikes. Uh, the guy was, as I told Corey before the game, was right on that verge of getting drafted last year in the top five rounds because he's got really good stuff. He's got big league stuff. And today, man, he was – I tip my hat to him. He was a lot better than we were. With Zach Agnosi defensively all year been really really good and now he's a force offensively showing it today and the entire series coach o, uh it's amazing what the mind can do for you and at times zach has had bad thoughts at the plate and the game didn't reward him and he changed his mindset as Ryder giles has both those guys have done a great job um and just extending our lineup but zach's been swinging the back good as we knew he would it just it's a long season and sometimes the game challenges you you know coach you've been a coach for a long time and uh, the game will challenge you at different times as is challenging cooch manor and smith and others um but the thing I know is our guys work hard and, and they prepare themselves. And, you know, we're ready to play today. It's not that we weren't ready to play today. Um, it's not like Carolina or UNCW where I felt like we were we were ready to play today. We just not play good baseball. And there's a big difference. And I would ask fans if they wouldn't mind, like if we're not playing hard, then boo, yell, say stuff like that. But nobody's trying to make an error. Nobody's trying to fall down coming around a base. Nobody's trying to walk guys. Um, our guys invest way too much to uh, not care. And at times they care too much. And if you want to be mad at somebody, be mad at Coach Godwin. Don't be mad at our players. When you, when you and I sat down prior to getting the series underway Friday, Coach, the word you use to describe UCF is this is a scary team. They, they had a lot coming in. They were starting to put it together. We saw that play out across this weekend. It's a team that's not the one that's sitting in the middle of the league right now. They have the ability and the talent to charge up this standings right now. They showed it here this weekend. This is a really dang good ball club that your team just played. I mean, yeah, you, you don't go into Oxford, Mississippi and, and win two out of three and should have won three games and not be good. I mean, I think that they're super talented and Greg Love Delay told me before the game because we're just inconsistent. You don't know what team's going to show up each day and he's tried a lot of different things and uh, whatever he tried today with Sinclair work. So uh, he can take that. It's amazing the game of baseball, though, just real quick, or Sinclair didn't get out of the second inning last weekend, but the guy we knocked out in the first inning, I think, went eight and some change. So that's baseball. And look, it's a long season and we're really good and we've played really good baseball. I don't know how many games we've played. So uh, don't get down on us because we're we're in a good spot. Well, Coach, uh, we're going to try that road trip thing again here coming up this weekend. We'll talk to you in Wichita, right? Yep. Uh, thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach. Uh. Thank you. Okay, we'll open up for questions for Coach Godwin now. Coach, it just like Smitty just didn't have any fastball command. Is that kind of what you saw from the dugout? <laughs> yeah, he definitely didn't have fastball command. And um, it, it's amazing what the mind can do to you. And, and like I said, I think guys care too much at times and, and they make it into life or death. I mean, nobody has, you know, pitched in more games, wanted the baseball in these situations than Tyler Smith. And that was actually the pregame speech just to a lot of different guys is if your mind's not in the right place, that the game will challenge you as life will. And, um, you know, it challenged Smitty today. Um, the positive out of today is uh, Josh Groves, freshman 
uh, Landon Ginn got out there again, did a good job, Danny Beal. And look, if we weren't getting beat like that, we probably wouldn't have went to those guys. And I was I was committed and Dietz and I were committed to get those guys out there because, you know, we got to be a little bit deeper on the mound with Wiz and Hunt, you know, being day to day. And as when Hoover went down, I, I met with the offense and said, hey, nobody needs to replace Hoover. We just all need to be two or three percent better. And you look at what Ben Newton and kind of AMAC did for us during that time, and a lot of guys did. But we don't need anybody to be whizzing hunt. We just need everybody to be a tick better. And uh, I think next weekend, and I don't know, it's got in my gut, we're going to pitch really well next weekend. That's my uh, prediction. So you can put that on your little uh, message boards for everybody and tell them that we're going to pitch good next weekend. And then if we don't, then they can tell me I'm an idiot. But Cliff, at a competitive weekend, what do you think your team, your players learned from a competitive conference weekend like this one? Well, I think uh, they should have learned, which I just told them is that that's going to be every weekend that we play is you're going to get everybody's best. Everybody's good. Everybody's older. Um, you know, I said this to Corey in the pregame and you look at yesterday on uh, two games, two teams were up nine to one in Ole Miss and uh, Boston College, and LSU is going to sweep Ole Miss in Oxford, but not so fast. And, and they scored eight runs in the eighth inning and won nine to eight on a walk-off jack. Last night, uh, Notre Dame won 13 to nine. They were down nine to one in the eighth inning. So it's just hard. It's hard to win college baseball games. I know it, the fans are probably tired of it, but I mean, just look across the country. It's not just me talking. It's everybody. It's very difficult. And the teams that have been consistent – are the ones that have played well, and we've been consistent. Um, we've showed up, we've played well, and, you know, really blessed that we were able to sweep two weekends. I mean, it's it, the four-game series is a whole different animal. It's, it's the, you know, it's a different animal, and just you, you try to maneuver the weekend. But, you know, your goal is to put yourself in a position to win the series. We did that today. We just didn't play well today enough to win the series. They did tip the hat to them, and they're good, and, um, you know, hopefully they'll get on a roll a little bit because it'll help our conference with our RPI. Wiz and Hunt, do you know how he responded or how he's feeling with, with getting some rest in weekend? Ronnie, it's amazing that your 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 videos goes up, but I got what you said. Uh, Wiz and Hunt is uh, is day to day. Um, he is going to be reevaluated tomorrow. He feels better today than he did earlier in the week. But as you guys know, we're gonna protect our guys and, and make sure that, I mean, look, he's got a big career in front of him, not just at East Carolina, but in the future. So we're going to make sure that we look after him and make sure he's ready to go for a picks up baseball. Coach Sinclair was highly effective today, went deep into the game. Um, what were you seeing from him that was making him so effective? Um, he was throwing a fastball 93 to 95 miles an hour with a high spin rate, and he was throwing it both sides to the plate. He had a slider that was 83 miles an hour and a changeup that was way better than he has thrown on video. So he made it really tough for our hitters. Um, our hitters did not do what they needed to do, but I can tell you this, I take that guy on my team. So um, that, that's a big league arm. And if you don't know what you're looking at, then, man, you don't know baseball. That's a big league arm. He just hasn't had good command this year for whatever reason. But to tell you what, man, today he had it, and uh, he was special. And uh, he, just, he just stuffed us, and uh, he was really good. Hey, are there any other questions for Coach Godwin this afternoon? Okay, Coach, thank you for your time. We'll talk to you, you soon. Too.